<laughs> yeah, it smells. <laughs> That's good stuff. It smells like burnt, toxic paint, burning wood. Uh, and that is uh, one of the most horrible welds I've ever done in my life. So today on Project Shop, we're going to attempt to repair uh, this box trailer. I had an issue. I pull up to a job to pick up some scrap and I smelt burnt rubber. Uh, as soon as I open the door, I go inside. I'm like, man, this thing's burning rubber somewhere. And at first I think, oh, maybe a bearing went bad or we got an issue. No, it's not so simple. So let me get underneath and show you what's going on because the trailer, as you can see, where I tried to beat it back, um, this section, you'll see in a minute, has like its own, it's, it's not solid all the way across. This section here is a little bit different underneath. And it actually slid over off of where it was supposed to be and it looks to me like um someone did some shitty welding so quality control uh was slacking when they let this thing leave okay so now we're under the trailer let me show you what's going on here as you can see there's a line right here where this angle bracket is supposed to be and if you can see up here see that the bracket has come off of that beam and actually slid up under it. So when I figured out what was happening on the side of the road, I'm like, oh, I'll just tap it back over and hopefully make it back to the shop without it rubbing because this tire right here ain't so bad. But this tire up here, this one was rubbing pretty good. See that? Not too bad to where I think it compromised the tire. I'm still going to run it. Um, I always run a spare, but you know, I'll get some new tires here shortly and turn that into a spare But I did drive back from Miami like this After beating it back over and you can see as when I beat it over it actually it bent this because uh, I didn't realize it was um, You know Actually slid off it so far and then dropped underneath of it So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I got to get this back up and over and then pull it back over all the way and then tack weld it because it, what it looks like and you can see right here it's supposed to be welded looks like the crappiest tacks you can actually see let me see you can see a piece of like weld stuff here you know i mean that's just a glob of weld someone put there and really don't uh look like it did much I mean, I looked over like the important parts and it looked good, but I'm actually going to do like a thorough inspection now, especially on the other side. Yeah, as you can see, it was rubbing pretty good on there. That's all rubber stuck to that aluminum. Not much clearance here either. See that? Now we can get a better look at what's going on here. That's the worst one right there. <laughs> That's where I put the hole through. I'm trying to beat it back. Um, so now, yeah, and as you can see, look at this crap here, man. This is like the crappiest welds I've ever seen. And uh, they really didn't even get on nothing. Let me see all the way up there. Yeah, I gotta get up there and look because that even looks like the whole the whole thing is slid out. Like all the welds let loose because it just wasn't even welded. Like my god. And look at this weld. Dang, this is crazy. I really need to go over this trailer. This weld here is coming off on an angle. It's not it's like the guy was blind, man. Holy smoke. Man, I really love this trailer, but uh, that's kind of disconcerting. And I'd be putting some weight in here, too. Oh, boy. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to jack this thing way up and just go all the way underneath this thing and look at all the welds because I'm not impressed. But in the meantime, this is the main, main thing we got to try to do. Um, what I'm thinking about is putting a jack here 
and pushing up on this and hopefully it just pushes up past and puts that back where it needs to be um and then i gotta figure a way of actually pushing this over when i was on the side of the road i was trying to figure if i could put a strap on this strap it across underneath um but i was able to beat it enough to where i got the clearance because this was way over you know and it's surprising that this back tire didn't i mean it rubbed a little bit uh but this one here was rubbing and uh did a good number on the tire i think if that would have went any further um you know it would have uh probably really compromised the tire i mean it's probably already compromised but um the spare tire i have has kind of dry rot for this particular trailer uh, so i'm going to look in the order in a set we'll get a uh two new tires for this side at least and um yeah this trailer needs to be gone over i'm i'm noticing there was a couple rusty spots um particularly on the on the outer corners and over here like this and this piece in the back is pretty rusty um before anything gets too bad i'd like to address that uh I just got a, a blast cabinet and I do have a uh, like a pot belly sand blaster um, which would be good for getting up under here and blasting this frame um, you know before th shit starts going south too bad. Not too much going on here. Now if you notice this is my pusher from my transformer press. This is a multi-use tool. I'm just going to try to push up right here. Hopefully, it pushes this thing back above. Let's straighten it out. That little lip is catching. Oh, there it is. Now, we can just beat this over. Oh, this might be a simple fix four pound sledge oh yeah oh, it's coming over nice I'm gonna let this jack down okay all right well that was easy but we did kind of bend that down a little bit. How well that's coming over. So, we did put a bend in that to where uh, it's going to hold this away from that once I slide it over. So, and there's no way I can beat that down from the top. Um, so, I'm going to try to take the dowel or something and get as close to that as possible and try to beat that maybe a little bit straighten it out okay I got it coming back over to its original spot it's got a little gap in there but I'll push up on this right here um, and get that to close and then uh, I'm gonna go get my little uh, 110 welder because it's got flux core wire which is way better for welding dirty rusty metal um, but before I do that, I'm going to take this spritz bottle full of water. I'm going to soak the wood a little bit. Um, because the last thing I want to do is weld on this thing and then have it... Oh, shit. Uh, have it catch on fire. So, whenever I weld on, like, cars, wherever there's grease or anything like that... I always like to have a spritz bottle. Okay, the battery died. We're starting to lose light pretty quick over here. But what I was saying is, uh, whenever I'm working on cars or whatnot, you know, fire extinguisher is good and all, but if you don't have that, just a spritz bottle with water always works good for me. I like it because you can kind of get in there and dial in where you want to spray the water if you, uh, you set something on fire, um, or preemptively spray stuff down so you don't set it on fire. Um, that's what I'm doing here. 
So I got the weld pack 140 out. This is a 110 flux core wire. Now this thing does have an adapter for gas, but I love the flux core. It's a great portable welder. Um, I've welded some pretty heavy stuff with this before. Hopefully it's gonna get the job done today. Now I got my uh, grinder here with a brand new wire wheel left over from that big pipe job I had a few months back. Um, I'm just gonna get up under here. While there's a gap, I'm just gonna try to clean as much of that up as possible. Looks like painted stuff. We should be able to get it clean enough to get some weld on there. Now there's not much I'm gonna be able to do in the corner, but I should be able to get this pretty somewhat decent. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, without a freaking breaker pop. I, actually, I don't even know what popped. The, uh, the outlet just stopped working. This place has the most wonky freaking electric I've ever seen. So now I'm just going to try to bend that up with the jack. Speed a little high. fire I'm not trying to burn down the trailer here Let's see what we got we got a little tack we're gonna crappy weld because of the uh, paint the giant gap yeah I'm gonna hit this just a little bit more definitely got on there. I'm going to try to get some up underneath here. Ah. That's hard to see. I'm definitely smelling some burning wood. <laughs> yeah, it smells. <laughs> That's good stuff. It smells like burnt, toxic paint, burning wood. Uh, and that is uh, one of the most horrible welds I've ever done in my life. I'm going to try to get on there a little more. 
The problem is it's hard to see. Bridging the gap. There we go. Well, that crappy well is uh, way better than what was there. Okay, it's probably some of the worst looking wells I've ever done in my life, but I did get penetration, I believe. Uh, I got it welded on this side and I got, I bridged the gap over here and uh, I think that's gonna hold it. You know, it's better than what was on there. Now, before I go weld that one there, I'm gonna weld this side over here. I'm going to take the um, jack and try to jack that up and there's really no way for me to get in there with a grinder so I'm just going to have to burn through the paint and uh, hope I get somewhat of a clean weld. You know that's why when you're doing dirty stuff like this that flux core wire is the way to go. Okay I got the jack set up on this one here and basically I'm just going to pump this up and hopefully straighten that out enough to get some tack on there. A little upward pressure. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. Release that down. Didn't get it all the way up, but it got a lot closer, and I'll be able to put some tack on that backside where that little, I mean, what is that? I mean, it's not even a, a bead, it's just a glob. <laughs> oh man, some people, you know? Popping and fizzling. <sighs> okay. Ugly well. Okay. All right, for the next one, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take this tire off and shove it up underneath up there, uh, just so this thing doesn't roll and collapse on me. Even though I do have a jack and a jack stand under there, um, I always love to shove the tires right up underneath of whatever I'm jacking up, uh, just in case, because uh, I'd rather it crush a tire than my head. So this side looks good right here. I got nothing to say about that. Um, but this here uh, is definitely going to have to be welded. There's literally the same thing. One, uh, one glob. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Um, it looks like when they melted the thing off. It's not even like they welded it. It just literally looks like they forgot to weld the middles. And they just kind of tack the ends. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to have to take a look at that on the other side. That weld looks horrible over there. So I'm going to do the best I can just to get a little bit of bead on here. Because um, it doesn't look like there was anything. Or if there was, maybe a little bit on the top side there. Right there, it looks like something. 
um, but that's not, yeah, that's not doing anything. Try to get on that angle, it's really tough. Okay, it looked like I got some decent weld on that. Try to get over here. Uh, can't get the, the gun up in there. That's the problem. like crap but I'll tell you what that's way better than it was as you can see we had some major rubbing going on so hopefully that fixes the problem I'm gonna pull this stuff out get the tires on and then um, I'm gonna go check the other side just to make sure that those welds are in place and we're not gonna have the same issues okay we got plenty of gap now and uh i think we're good that weld uh is way better than what was there and uh now i'm gonna let this down then go to the other side and just give a quick look see what's going on over there okay she's back on her own feet got plenty of clearance hopefully we ain't gonna be burning up any more tires now it's gonna slide over to this other side real quick and uh take a look because i think i i bent these out one time uh a while ago uh -huh. oh yeah well this side looks like there might be a tack on the top so it doesn't look like there's any issues with this side now but um i am going to be addressing some issues with this trailer and that i will uh when i do that I will come put some extra tacks on this um, just to be sure so all right I'd say she's uh, okay to go scrap it again <laughs> man it's amazing how fast we lose light over here uh, so anyway you come this far thanks for watching stay tuned I actually have to bring my other flat deck trailer and do a, quite a few repairs on it um, one, I want to replace an axle that's been bent and chewing up some tires. The frame is bent and the crane needs major repairs and updates. Um, I have a lot of parts. I pretty much have all the parts for it. And right there, I have all the sides to put removable sides on it. Because now having a trailer that actually has sides, uh, this box trailer, being able to just throw stuff in there and not really worry about it flying off the side. Uh, I definitely want a trailer with sides now. I've been missing out over the past uh, few years having just a flat deck and constantly have to worry about how I'm strapping and netting everything. Um, having these sides that I got here, I got some uh, nice sides from a steak body truck or something. But I'm going to cut them in half because they're four foot tall so that I have two foot sides from my trailer. Removable sides. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for some more scrapping. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
stop or dance before? <laughs>